Glenn Youngkin getting an update on how the Port of Virginia is dealing with all that extra cargo as ships are now diverted to the Commonwealth. We can expect more trucks coming out of Hampton Roads in coming weeks, but as Henry Graff explains, they're also checking for vulnerabilities up the James River. The impact of the Baltimore Bridge collapse now being felt at the Port of Virginia. We'll get some of that cargo here in Virginia, uh, and then we'll coordinate with the um, truckers and the rail lines, although we expect most of this to be done by truck. Aubrey Lane, board chair of the Virginia Port Authority, says they expect more cargo ships to pull into Virginia over the next few weeks. That means we could see some 500 extra trucks on the road each day coming out of Hampton Roads. That's about an 8 to 10 percent increase. Of course, uh, being, being the truckers, um, we'll see more activity on our highways. We think most of that will be focused around Hampton Roads. Attention also turning to vulnerabilities to make sure measures are in place to prevent a Baltimore incident from happening here in the Commonwealth. While travel lanes into the Port of Virginia are clear of overhead obstacles like bridges, the trek up the James River to the Port of Richmond is not as clear. Certainly, we do have vessels, barges particularly, uh, and smaller vessels that go up the James River. Um, so uh, looked at how those bridges are protected. Lane says most bridges crossing the James have the barriers necessary to protect them from a ship's impact. Very important, he says, since the ships coming to Richmond are significantly smaller than the one in Baltimore. We're aware of where we may have some vulnerabilities. Vida and the Port Authority also running tabletop exercises to make sure they can properly respond to an incident should it happen here in Virginia. In Richmond, I'm Henry Graff, 12 on your side.